Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to address you on behalf of the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Bola Ami Tinubu, GCFR, at this year's World Food Forum, organized by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, and to share the Nigeria's vision for an agri-food system that can deliver food for today and tomorrow. Let me first congratulate the FAO Director General for his leadership and support to member countries towards transforming agri-food system for guiding the process of ensuring food and nutrition security across the continents. I equally commend the commitment of all state and non-state partners for their contributions to human development. Since I assumed office, the Nigeria's vision for an agri-food system reflects a comprehensive approach to securing food for the present and future generations. The focus has been on inclusivity, sustainability, and resilience, which is based on the principle of unlocking and exploring the country's agricultural potential. The direction of the Nigerian government and the support provided by development partners is targeted at uplifting smallholder farmers and rural communities. Amongst the ongoing interventions is the African Development Bank's Assisted National Agricultural Growth Scheme, AgroPocket, NAGS AP, which facilitates farmers' access to seeds, fertilizers, agrochemicals, and training. The program has helped in enhancing yields, output, processing, and marketing in the chain. It is therefore our collective action to sustain investment in smallholder farmers for improvement in agricultural productivity, access to resources, extension services, and markets, which will ultimately transform rural communities and raise living standards. Similarly, the government and other stakeholders continue to use the window of the Nigerian incentive-based risk-sharing system for agricultural lending to de-risk agricultural investment and therewith raise farmer income, business profits, and living standard in a commensurate manner. Other initiative is the step taken on promoting inclusivity in agriculture programs with focus on youth and women. The initiative has resulted in the creation of Vibrant Youth Farm Lab that helps to modernize and diversify the sector via skill, entrepreneurship, and leadership development. We are also facilitating a proper management and utilization of silo complexes, community warehouses, and aggregation centers by concessioning some facilities to the private sector and deploying some to the statutory activities of food relief intervention and commodity price stabilization as a means of ensuring normalcy in the supply chain. In addition, Nigeria is vigorously promoting and developing sustainable agricultural practice, most especially the application of climate-smart agriculture and integrated pest management to boost productivity while protecting the environment. On the context of stimulating agribusiness and value addition, Nigeria is through various commodity value chains like rice, cassava, and palm oil has created job opportunities and increased income among teeming youth and women in the country. In another related development, government recognized the urgency to unlock capital for agricultural growth and increase financial resources through the innovative financing models such as the Agri-Small and Medium Enterprises Investment Scheme. It is also pertinent to state the pragmatic efforts put in place in short medium and long-term measures of stabilizing and addressing acute food shortages through emergency interventions like food distribution programs and the use of underutilized storage facilities. Equally prioritized for food security attainment is an increased funding of innovative research and technology adoption. Generally, an equitable resource distribution through efficient and effective policies would ensure balance in the distribution of agricultural resources and development across the regions and the country at large. 
The effort is to address regional imbalances for fairness in resource allocation, which promotes nationwide growth and stability. In this perspective, I am optimistic that the adoption of the above measures, in addition to building a resilient and robust food system, such as food security monitoring and establishing early warning systems, would enable Nigeria's proactive response to emerging food security threats. I wish to conclude by mentioning the effective government framework put in place tagged the Presidential Food Systems Coordination Unit. It comprised representatives from public, private, multilateral, civil, farmers, and research organizations who are to ensure alignment with national goals. On this context, it is my belief that Nigeria is creating a vision for an agri-food system that would address food insecurity situation and point to long-term sustainability for economic growth and development. Thank you and God bless you all.